you okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. i um, been throwing around, feels good now, and um, just going every day uh, for treatment and stuff, but right now it's pretty good. How much did Sunday and Monday off help? Oh, it helped a lot, just uh, being able just to get mental reps and uh, just uh, just to rest my arm and my body, and uh, it was just it was just all mental, so I was happy about that. What are your thoughts about going to play in LSU at night? I mean, I'm sure you've heard yeah. about all that, teams that go down there. Um, I'm excited. Uh, it's my first time in, at playing at LSU in front of that crowd, and um, I heard a lot of things. And um, my mindset going into that game is just to stay focused and just to block out the noise and uh, just worry about our game and just take it one play at a time and don't let the noise bother me. Is there any games you can use as experience? I, mean, I know each stadium yeah. and environment's different, but yeah, um, I related to Mississippi State, um, the Cowbells. Um, it was it was pretty loud there. Um, the student section behind me and um, everything else around around Starksville. And uh, I think I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did um, at Mississippi State, is just block out the noise and just focus on the, on, on the game. Jordan, what you learned from the Alabama game yeah. didn't, didn't go our way, really. Um, <clears throat> what what what'd you do um, that? Just to, just to execute, and um, no matter if we're down or up, just to um, make plays and um, convert on third downs. and. Just keep driving and uh, just to uh, never give up. And um, our goal is just to, or my goal is to make more accurate throws. Um, this game um, had some uh, missed throws uh, against Alabama, so uh, had had to fix that up and get ready for LSU. Did you feel like y'all lost your patience a little bit on offense when you got behind, or, or not? Maybe yeah. patience is a bad word. I don't know. Yeah, um, I think we just lost confidence. I think that's the word you're looking for. We just um, we was down and. Um, I, I think confidence was a big thing in our, our role play and the way we um, attacked Alabama. But if we just continue to execute and um, just keep scoring, then the game would have been different. How is this LSU defense similar to Alabama? How, how is it different? Um, they're similar just because of the speed. Um, they're great, great uh, outside guys, secondary guys. And um, I think the difference is their linebackers. Um, they got white inside. Um, I think he's physical and strong. Um, but uh, nothing much. They're basically the same um, defense, but they run differently and um, they cover differently. So, how much do you take from those couple possessions you came in you know, at, at, against LSU last year? Um, just when I went in there, LSU game, I was just uh, just going through the game plan and doing what I had to do to help the team. And uh, there's no difference here. Um, I'm gonna go go in the game and um, just execute and take it play by play. What you specifically do y'all have to do? to have more success against LSU secondary as opposed to Alabama's? Um, I'll say for me, just making accurate throws and um, for the receivers is just getting open fast. And um, that's basically that's basically it and just finding space and getting open. With that game last year, will you walk yeah. us through from what you're seeing, hearing, and thinking from when you find out that Shea's out yeah. to um, getting in the game? Yeah, when I found out he was hurt, um, I was just, my heart was beating. I was super excited and uh, super nervous at the same time. So uh, um, I knew my name was going to get called. And once once my name got called, I strapped it up. And uh, my old lineman was telling me, let's go, let's do this. And um, from there on, I just felt confidence in me and uh, um, just started rolling from there. You didn't look nervous. Yeah, I didn't. I just yeah. As soon as as soon as the snap, as soon as the ball came to me, like all the butterflies kind of went away. And uh, I just started playing the game. And uh, everybody trained. And like since we was little, just to play at this spot and just to play at this level, so I was excited to, for the opportunity. Yeah. I just said yesterday that there's one point where you're like, "Why are you over there?" Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> what, what happened there? Um. Yeah. Um. You talking about? What are you talking about? Because in that first drive, at one point, you asked him at one point, like, "Why are you over there?" And he was oh, like, yeah. "This is where I'm supposed to oh, be." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just super nervous and like I just wanted everything to be right and I just wanted uh, just the formations and everything to go my way. So yeah. You had so, three scoring drives, I think, in that game. Did that yeah. make it, I guess, easier to be confident going into Arkansas the next weekend? Oh, yeah, forward? most definitely. Just uh, just being able to drive down the field and uh, put up points is the main thing in our offense. And I think that kind of carried on to Arkansas. And, uh, yeah. Jordan, have you been pretty satisfied so far this year with your decision-making on the RPOs? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied, but I believe I could fix a lot of that up and – um, just clean it up more. I know I'm smarter than um, some of the throws I made, but um, like I said, uh, I can just fix it up and clean it up and I'll be better the next week. You talked about 
confidence. Yeah. Does having those scoring drives against LSU last year give you confidence going into Yes, just, um, just being able to score against any D1 level team is, is a confidence builder. And I believe just driving down the field is, builds a lot of confidence in our offense, builds a lot of confidence in our team. It keeps the defense off the field longer to rest and uh, just confidence in all. Last week. Yeah.